What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm talking about the best way that I like to organize my power bait for stock trout fishing. And I'm gonna share a handful of tips and tricks that you guys can use to organize your power bait to be more successful when you're out in the field and catch more stock trout when you're out trout fishing. And stay till the end of the video because I have some new power bait to show all you guys that just launched. Now if you trout fish as much as I do, you guys have tons of jars of different power bait. Colors, scents, glitter, non-glitter, cheese flavored, garlic flavored. Like in salmon fishing, when you have a ton of different flasher colors and a ton of different spinner colors, when you're trout fishing, it's all about different trout baits and scents when you're out fishing. And you gotta have more, and you gotta have a variety of different trout baits and scents when you're out trout fishing because one day what the trout might like is not what they like the next day. And you need to have variety of different colors and styles when you're out fishing for stock trout out on the lakes, ponds or streams or wherever you're fishing. So when I'm getting ready or I'm going out trout fishing on say a local lake, pond or stream, I make sure that I've got at least a dozen different colors of power bait for when I'm going out to target trout. Now when I've got my tackle box, I usually put all the jars in the biggest portion at the bottom of the tackle box here. And for the most part, the font is pretty small on the jar. So what I end up doing in my tackle box is picking the jars up and having to look to see what the colors are of the jars, trying to find the one that I'm gonna use for that day or right then to bait my hook when I'm trout fishing. And with so many jars in the bottom of my tackle box, it can be a little bit overwhelming and I can end up having to pick up all the jars just to find the right color that I'm looking for for fishing right then and there. So if you find yourself in the predicament of having so many jars of power bait and having to go in and out and trying to find the right jar that you're looking for for when you're fishing that day, I got the solution for you guys. Berkeley's been in the fishing industry for a long time. I recently saw this product on an episode of Day One Outdoors, which is hosted by Cody Herman here in the Pacific North. Northwest and I was super interested and found the product online and I've been giving it a try and I gotta say it's kept my power bait more organized when I'm out fishing. This is the 1490 jar holder from Berkeley. It's a little carry pouch and what I found is this, this is the most versatile product that I have come across that's kept my power bait organized and this is really easy to carry and walk around with especially if you're walking or hiking around a lake or a pond. It's super easy, super accessible and you can actually see all of your power baits at the same time to pick the right one that you're gonna fish with. So in here, I'm gonna open the inside of this and the coolest part about this is I just love the fact that it has sections to hold up all the jars. But the reason I like this product for organizing my trout bait jars, firstly, that you can actually see the colors of the power bait when you open this up. When you have all your jars at the bottom of your tackle box, they're right side up with the lid, but you can't actually see the colors. And unless you're gonna look at all the fonts, it's really hard to pick out which one that you're looking for. So by having this open and being able to see the different colors of jars, it just, cuts down on the amount of time I've got to spend looking for the right jar and it's really easy to put them back and keep them in an organized way that you like to when you're trout fishing. So for myself, I've got mine organized in a very particular way. So I've got on the top couple rows here, these are the jars that I fish with on a regular basis. The jars in the front row are the baits that I'm gonna fish with when I first hit the water wherever I'm going. Now when I go to places that I know what colors I like to use, I like to keep those in the top row. And this just helps me when I'm going in to grab those ones at the top and just have really quick and easy access. Now, before I'm heading out on a road trip or heading to a different place that I'm fishing or a place maybe I haven't fished a lot, but I fished a few times, I'll rearrange my jars to put the jars at the top of which I want to fish that local lake or stream or the ones that I want to use to target that day. And it makes it easier, especially at the end of the day of fishing, to know which jars I've used. So if I mix and match, what I'll do is I'll if I use a jar from the bottom or the middle, I'll move it up to the top rows and that'll help me remember what jars of power bait that I used that day. So when I go back and journal and document how the fishing was that day, how successful I was or maybe not successful, that I've marked down and documented what colors I've used. So by having the jar organizer here and moving stuff around while I'm out fishing, it helps me recap at the end of the day of what colors were good or maybe not good so that the next time I go out, I can organize this in the way that I want to to grab the right colors to refish that spot and be successful again. Here's a couple tips for what you guys can use with this bait folder holder from Berkeley. Firstly, organize it by color. So maybe bright colors and dark colors together, different water conditions, different levels, different times of the year. You can organize this by color. So you could do brights in one section and dark in another section so that you're changing it up. Or like we have in Oregon where we have a two rod endorsement, I might grab one from the brights and one from the darks, see maybe what's hot and what's not. And then I can pick from one section or the other depending on how 
how the bite's going. Another way to organize this is with the glitter and the non-glitter power bait. And so if you're one of those people like myself who's very keen on using either glitter or non-glitter, you can organize your baits with glitter or non-glitter in here for easy access to pick them out. Another way to organize in here is by sense and nonsense. No, not nonsense, nonsense. Because with all power bait and trout, fishing is a little bit about scent. You know, there's the three S's in fishing, sight, scent, and sound. And a lot of times trout are keen in on specific scents like garlic, corn, cheese, aniseed. So what you could do as an option is to organize your bait holders here. So in the late spring and as the weather is warming up into the summer, you have different scents in here and you can pluck from those and grab the exact scent that you want to be successful. And when you find that scent, then it's easier to grab from that section and use that to repeat the process of what you've been doing to catch those trout. Another tip for organizing your power baits. And I like this one as well, this might be one that I go to a lot, is colors and scents that fish in the morning versus the afternoon or the evening. Now where I fish here in Oregon and Washington in the Pacific Northwest, stock trout can be very finicky in terms of different colors they like in the morning time, maybe versus the afternoon time, right? So in the morning, the sun might not be all the way up, which means different colors may fish a certain way in the morning, whereas the afternoon when the sun is brighter, different colors may fish differently in the afternoon. For example, I've got two different chartreuse truce colors in here. One is glitter and one is non-glitter. Now my rule of thumb is fish the non-glitter in the morning when it's not bright out and the sun isn't up and in the afternoon grab the glitter and fish that in the afternoon. That extra glitter on the bait I feel like attracts more fish in the afternoon when I'm fishing that color. So a great tip that you guys could do is to organize this by morning colors and afternoon colors. So depending on what time of the day you're out fishing you can grab from that section get yourself in a position to be successful to catch more trout. And then finally you know, for those of you that have OCD and are super organized, if you want to organize your colors or scents alphabetically, go for it. You know, I'm not one to do it alphabetically, but it's another way to do it. That way you're kind of grabbing from the section or you know what, just throw them in here hodgepodge style. You know, if you're not one of those organized types, but just want to keep them all in one section, just stick them in here and go out and go fish. So hopefully when you guys get out there next time, you guys can use some of these tips for how to organize your power bait with this jar folder container from Berkeley to get yourself in position to catch more trout out on the lake and be more successful. Now, the other part of this organizer is it has the, on the inside of the lid, it's got some compartments here. I've got my pink worms and I've got my tan worms here, which I like to fish for also for trout, but are also good for when I'm out on the local lakes fishing for perch or bluegill or some of those other fish that I'm going after. So you can put your power baits or even your worms that you're maybe fishing for bass with in here, getting all your power bait products into one area. You can also put pliers in here or even packages with say extra hooks and keep everything organized. And as I said, it's got a handle and a shoulder strap and allow you to carry it to the lake. Or if you're hiking in long areas and you don't have say a backpack or you don't have all the gear that you need to fit into one tackle box, this is a great way to save space in your tackle box, keep everything organized and have it as a shoulder strap so it's easy to carry around wherever you're fishing for trout. And then last but not least, a couple other features with this container. You got a little zipper pocket here on the outside which you can slide in really thin things. You can slide in your paper license in here. You can slide in some pre-packages of hooks. Um, just a great way to slide things in here. I wouldn't recommend anything that's sharp or that's too bulky in here because there's not, with, with the full amount of jars in here, there's not a lot of space in here. And if you reach, you don't want to tear the bag. So think thin things in here, but it's another great location. And then lastly, the very bottom here, there's actually a hole that allow air to go through the jars here if you're storing this somewhere. Now, I've said in the past that when you store power bait, you don't want it to be in a hot location location so say like a grot because what'll happen to the power bait over time is it'll dry out however with the hole here if you bring this in the house in a climate controlled area or a place that's not going to get too cold or too warm it'll allow the airflow to get in here and your power bait will last longer so at the beginning of the video I teased a little product drop that Berkeley has recently come out with over the summer Berkeley actually came out with a couple new colors and scents for power bait which I'm super 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 excited to go out and try on the local lake so one of the new scents that Berkeley's come out with is aniseed. For this one, I'm super excited to try this one. So this is a black and brown aniseed color, and then this is a green and black aniseed color. And you know, for a lot of us trout fishermen, you know, corn, garlic, and cheese are typical scents that we use. So aniseed is something that I'm going to add into my arsenal this late 
fall and then into the coming spring to try out this product to see how it does. I am actually super excited to try these colors. Now they're super dark. They have glitter in them. So fishing them different conditions will be interesting, but especially I think in the early morning with these dark colors with low clear water could be dynamite when targeting stock trout or just those trout that are holdover that were stocked in the spring that are still around. These could be really deadly, especially when the water is dropping and those fish are coming from the deeper parts of the lakes and water closer to the shore when the water's starting to get a little bit cooler. This aniseed could be really, really effective when out trout fishing. Now the other power bait that Berkeley's come out with is this garlic worm power bait. And if you guys can see here, there's actually a worm at the bottom of it and it's garlic scented. So the incentive is to use up the jar, grab those worms at the bottom and use those to catch some trout. I think this is pretty ingenious. And if you're gonna use the garlic worms, I'm gonna go out and target trout with this color scent combo and with the worms, probably in the summertime when the weather's warmer and garlic seems to be a better bite. And I can't wait to try these worms, especially try these when I'm fishing with my dad because I'm not gonna tell him what it is that I'm using. And I'm gonna see if I can outfish him with these garlic worm power bait that Berkeley's just come out with. So if you're looking for a new way to organize your power bait, go look at this power bait jar folder slash holder from Berkeley. I'll put a link in the description below of this video so you guys can go out there and look to buy one of these on your own. So if you guys have a very particular way in which you guys organize your power bait or the way that you're going to organize your power bait with this power bait folder, comment below on how you're going to keep your power bait organized for when you go out trout fishing to catch those giant stock trout and be successful on the water. Thank you guys for watching the video today on organizing power bait. Now get out there and do some epic trout fishing. Keep your jars of power bait organized, keeps you on the water longer, and you'll be more successful catching trout. Thanks as always everybody, and until next time, the outdoors is a gift, share it with others.